Welcome back to JB Reviews. Today, I am gonna get this 40 foot fifth wheel weighed with my 2500. And I added a bunch of stuff to the basement area because I wanted to get as much weight in here as possible. So I, I never bring this with me, but I figured just to get a little bit extra weight, we'll go ahead and put that in there. I'm gonna have my family with me. And the only thing I'm not gonna be able to bring is my generator, unfortunately, because I completely forgot to put it in there. And I'm not unhooking. So you could just use your imagination. I think it's like probably about 140 pounds, give or take. Let's go ahead and get down the road and we'll discuss some of the numbers on this truck. I'm pretty sure some of you guys would like to see the numbers on the door. So here they are. The gross axle weight ratings are right here. So the rear one's gonna be the one that's more important for this video. So it's 6,600 pounds. And 11,350 is the gross fuel weight rating. Up top shows you the payload at 2,855 pounds. And I mean, the towing numbers, 18.5, 18.1, I mean, those numbers are always gonna be more than enough for some people. But if you're looking to tow that much weight, you're gonna hit that payload a lot quicker because this truck is 8,400 pounds. And when you think about the gross fuel weight rating, I mean, you're pretty much there, you know, with that heavy of a truck. As far as the tires go, these tires do have pretty good capacity. Let me see if I can find it for you. So it's right there. Hopefully you guys can see 3,750 pounds, 65 PSI cold. Let's go ahead and get down the road so you guys can see how well it tows. Now, do you guys think I'm overloaded? I don't know, actually. It's been a long time since I've towed this fifth wheel with a three quarter ton truck. And I've only towed this trailer one other time with a Denali, I think it was a 2020 or 21 Denali. And it towed okay, I just feel like it was really bouncy. And that's the only thing about these three quarter tons is, they do get kind of bouncy when you add this type of pin weight to them. But if I had to guess, right now we're probably not overloaded. We're probably within the capacity of this truck probably but we're gonna find out now we got a lot to do today unfortunately I only can get it weighed once so if you do want to know what the pin weight of this trailer is I did do a video with my dually and I'll link it at the end of this video if you would like to see that video but so far you know towing this trailer at 50 miles an hour I mean I know it's back there but it ain't bad now I've already done a towing video for this truck. I have not posted the footage yet. So be sure to be on the lookout for that video. I actually did a MPG run. I think I drove about 400 miles round trip towing this fifth wheel. And so you guys will be able to get my impressions on that. And I am hitting the brakes. I have the tow haul mode on, exhaust brake. I have noticed with this truck, it's very intermittent like sometimes I don't really recall it even coming on at all so yeah this definitely does kind of stink with the GM trucks Ford has fixed theirs Ram has always been the greatest of all but yeah they need to do some more work with their exhaust brake because like I'm hitting the brakes right now no downshifts no nothing yeah that's the only thing that stinks about these trucks is they just don't have the towing characteristics down like the other two yeah, I feel like when we had the Ram, you could feel it stopping you. Like it would make that loud like sound. And yep. in this one, I'm like, are we braking? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> oh, we're braking. We're just heating up our brakes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so do you think we're overloaded? It's been a while since we've had a truck, a three quarter ton. Yeah, the first one we had was three quarter ton. That was the only one after actually that we've had. Yeah. And then we had nothing but HD one tons. Mm -hmm. And then a dually, so. Yeah. I mean, we have lost a lot of weight now, haven't we? we we've been losing now, so we Yeah, could. it's true. So we might be good. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, there it is. See that? It just kicked on when we just went down that little hill there. But like I said, it works. It's just very intermittent. But yeah, we should be at the weigh station in a little bit. And like I said, I'll go over all the numbers for you guys. What I'll do is I have a spreadsheet that I have not used in a long time. So I already kind of know what the pin weight of the trailer is. And if we have time, maybe I will unhook the truck and get it reweighed. 
but I'm not making any promises though. Like, like I said, I don't know if we'll have enough time, but if we do have enough time, then I'll show you guys both ways. But yeah, definitely today it's three o'clock and we got like a couple hours more of uh, daylight because you know, November. So we have to get some stuff done. And then like I said, but at the very least we'll show you if we have enough capacity for this trailer. But I figure it's about 2,300 pounds of pin weight. We're on the highway. I'm doing 75 miles an hour and for a truck with an inch and a half lift 35s I'm actually surprised how well it's doing I don't feel the trailer back there right now it's back there but I don't feel like to where like I have to you know put both hands on the steering wheel slow down I'm not sure what the wind is is it windy today is there any wind I don't really see that there's a wind today so yeah this is actually better than I expected guys like that's one thing about these newer pickups is they're so heavy like this truck is about 8400 pounds like that is heavy like, I think my dually is about 80 something 100 pounds too and this truck has a nice wheelbase compared to other trucks because it does have a six foot 10 inch bed and I mean I'm actually really shocked at how well it does like I'm actually shocked I was expecting it to tow just a little bit worse and I'm not feeling that. I mean, what do you think? I mean, am I blowing smoke here? Am I trying to, am I overselling my truck? <laughs> no, it feels comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually, yeah, even hitting bumps. Like, again, that's where I think the three quarter tons kind of feel uneasy. It's like when you hit bumps, like I do feel more of that side to side motion. And if like you go over like a bridge, like with those dividers, I feel like you can feel the trailer kind of tug the truck a little bit more so because this truck doesn't have the overload leaves out back so that's always going to be something you have to consider too all right so we're on the highway i'm going 76 miles an hour i'm actually behind a truck right now and believe it or not guys you know these trucks are so heavy they just do such a great job towing like even though this is a three-quarter ton and this is a 40 foot fifth wheel it's definitely back there and because I'm behind a truck normally you get the draft which kind of does kind of throw you around a little bit but let me go ahead and pass I'm gonna go 80 see what happens all right there we go so right 80 miles an hour yeah this has a pretty long bed I mean it's a six foot ten inch bed so I have a really nice wheelbase with this truck. It's heavy. And even though it's lifted, I feel like it does tow well. With 35, inch and a half lift, it tows really well. Like I'm actually really surprised. Like I was expecting it to do a little bit worse. So yeah, if you're looking to tow a fifth wheel, I probably wouldn't go this big still. Because if it was windy or if you're in a position where you have to hit the brakes. I mean, this truck may not be the best in that case, especially if you want to go 80 miles an hour. Like, going 80 miles an hour, I probably wouldn't do this all the time, especially with the traffic being the way it is. That's why having a dually is always the best. Like, the duallys don't tow much better than this, but they just have, they just have those extra tires. So those extra tires are always gonna perform better. I mean, I think the stability is definitely better, even with my dually on 37s. It definitely out tows this truck 100%, but it's not bad. Like, I'm actually really, I'm surprised. Like, I was expecting this truck to do a lot worse. And it's actually doing better than I expected. So, there you go. So, we've made it to a Love's fuel station. Let's go ahead and check. Make sure I'm on the, yep, we're good. We're good. Alright, so let me go ahead and call in and we'll go ahead and get this bad boy weighed, guys. Here's the moment of truth. Am I overloaded with this truck? Well, if you don't remember, here are the axle uh, numbers here. So that's the gross axle weights for the front, which is the steer axle, and then the rear is the drive axle. If you don't remember, the front was 5,600 pounds and the rear was 66. So I'm under on my axles. That's a great thing, great feeling, right? 
Now the trailer axle is 10 too, but keep in mind, there's about 2,300 pounds of weight on the truck. So the trailer is probably around 12.5 in that ballpark. And my gross combined weight rating is 21.4. I will show that to you guys here in a second. It was in the video too, but I'll show you guys on the spreadsheet. Now, am I overloaded? That is the question. If you add the steer axle and the drive axle together, that gives you 11,200 pounds. Now, if you guys look at my spreadsheet, gross combined weight rating is right here. So I'm under on my axles, I'm under on GCWR, and I'm under on my gross fuel weight rating, which means I'm within my payload capacity. But I only have 150 pounds available. So if I were to put my generator in, put some extra fuel in the bed, I'm pretty much exceeding the payload of this truck. So obviously this is not the best setup for this type of RV. You're gonna want a one ton pickup 100% of the time. And that's why I was really upset with GM when they brought out this truck and decided not to add it to the one ton segment because most guys are gonna need 34 to 3,500 pounds minimum of payload for these types of trailers. And if I was full-time RVing, I want to say my pin weight got up to about 25 to 2,700 pounds in that ballpark. It fluctuated back and forth. So yes, if you want to tow a trailer like this, you're going to have to skip the AT4X. But I have a dually, so I don't have to worry about payload capacity, right? Actually, that's wrong because I'm selling my dually. Actually, my dually is up for sale as we speak. I did a video yesterday, um, and actually, I forgot to put the Auto Trader link in there, so I got to do that. So if you would like to purchase it, by the time you see this video, you'll see the link in that video that I posted yesterday. But we're looking at smaller RVs. I've been wanting a 45 foot fifth wheel, which is why we bought the uh, dually. So we're looking at toy haulers because I was thinking maybe in a year or two we can get a side by side or maybe a couple four wheelers. And the RV we're looking at had like a 15 foot garage. So we had some space if we decided to go with the side by side. But my wife wants to go smaller, and I kind of agree. I'm kind of tired of towing big trailers. Like it. It is hard maneuvering this thing, and because I don't tow as often as we did when we were living at it full time, I've gotten a little rusty. So, like for me, like backing up, it's just a lot more of a. It's just hard. <laughs> so I am actually looking forward to getting something different. And if you're looking at AT4X, you can tow a fifth wheel with this truck, but you're going to be very limited. I would say stay under 10,000 pounds for the gross fuel weight rating, so around that number. And even if you get a small fifth wheel, sometimes I've heard from viewers that they've had fifth wheels that were 32 foot or even smaller, put 1,900 pounds of pin weight on the truck. So if you're traveling with you know four or five people or something like that, and if you have a hitch in the bed, I don't have a hitch by the way, I only have my Reese Goose box, so I probably would be over with a fifth wheel hitch. Just keep that in mind. So yeah, there's a lot of things you have to consider, which is why it's better to get a one ton preferably a dually to tow size trailer like I have. Be sure to be on the lookout for some upcoming videos on the RV that we're choosing. I will tell you in this video, we are looking at travel trailers, sadly. I uh, I think we should experience it. We've never had a travel trailer. Well, we actually, we do have a travel trailer. We have a small one, but it's too small for me. I, I need something with a little bit more space. But yeah, I am excited to do something a little different. And who knows, maybe in a couple years, we'll jump back into a fifth wall. My wife's not here, so I can say that. So, yes. See you guys soon. Since you guys stayed to the end, I figured you guys would want to know how much the truck dropped. So, let's go ahead and measure. So, we are at... Let's use 45 and a quarter. And now, let's go ahead and drop the weight down. It's about 2,300 pounds. This truck does not have overload leaf springs. And I feel like it does drop just a little bit more. So it's at 42 and 7 eighths. So what is that? That's a little over two inches. I'll put it here in the video. It's actually not that bad. And when you look at the truck, it's definitely level. It does kind of like a squatting. But it's probably because this truck doesn't have as much reverse rake because of the lift. But yeah, the truck looks good though. I think that if you are looking to tow, this might be too big for a truck like this.